This is Louie. He's a nervous dog. He also has reactivity. Um, here we're kind of teaching him, just letting him move around. Okay. Did a little leash walking. I'll show that later. Come on. Come on, Louie. Good boy. Just making sure he trusts me and listens to me. Getting him to move is good for him to loosen up because he's really uptight. Um, getting him to work for food. Louie. Come here, Louie. Make sure he takes food. Good job. Good boy. When I first got out here, he tried to run away, which is why we have a long line. And, you know, I just said no and moved away and made him come back to me. And now he's starting to trust that what the rules are. He's starting to trust that I'm not going to hurt him. And that I'm fair. So yeah, this is Louie. So with any leash reactive dog, the foundation is always, does he have good leash skills? Which is, does he know what his job is? So, is he paying attention to where I'm going? Is he turning when I'm turning? Is he keeping the loose lead? When I stop, does he check in? So this is the thing, these are the things that have to happen first before we address reactivity. Good boy. Yes, good boy. He's getting a lot more interactive now. Good boy. After we did a lot of those turns and he realized that he has to pay attention to where I'm at, all of a sudden he wants to check in more and he wants to work for food more. Yes. Once you get rid of that nervousness and anxiety by yes, by laying the foundation of the leash rules, then the dog starts to become a lot more interested in you. Good boy. Because they're trusting you now that you are in control of the environment, not him. He doesn't need to be worried by the environment. Yes. You're being very clear what's allowed, what's not, which makes him much more interested in working for you. He gets more interested in the food because his worry has gone down. Yes. Good job. This is a good session. Sit. Nope.